from Jesus Always, um, devotionals by Sarah Young. Also, she wrote Jesus Calling. And it's written as if Jesus is talking to you. You can trust the one who died for you. In this world of spin and scams, people often find it hard to believe anyone. They talk about requiring others to earn their trust by providing themselves, proving themselves. I am the quintessential person who has earned the right to be trusted. For your sake, I left the glorious perfection of heaven and began life in your world as a helpless, stable-born infant. I resisted all temptations for 33 years so that my sacrifice for sinners would be sufficient. I lived a perfect life and freely gave my body to be tortured and executed to pay the full penalty for sin. As a result of my death and resurrection, whoever believes in me has eternal life. I want you to rely confidently on me, not only as your savior, but also as the God friend who is taking care of you. I have always proved how trustworthy I am. Now I invite you to relax in my loving presence and confide in me. Tell me your hopes and fears. Cast all your anxiety on me because I care for you. From 2 Corinthians 8, 9 and John 3, 36 and 1 Peter 5, 7. This song is a combination of Jesus paid it all, the wonderful cross, and a little bit at the end of the old rugged cross. Happy Easter. Happy Easter from Tim and Leanne Graydon.
Hello, uh, Beth and I want to just say Happy Easter to each of you and to let you know that we are constantly praying for you. And speaking of that, we want to pray for you right now. Uh, Father, we want to thank you for your exceeding great and precious promises that you have towards your people at this time. I've just uh, been meditating so much on the book of Hebrews and just one individual after another. Uh, went through hard times in that book and you said in that book that uh, chapter 11 that without faith it is impossible to please you for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him so in the, these most unusual days i pray for our people that they would be seeking your face more than ever before and that you'd fill each of us with your great faith that would be turned into hope and that hope would manifest itself by the way that we love those that we spend a lot of time with in these uh, quarantine conditions and uh, that other people around us, our neighbors and uh, other family members would uh, see that Jesus Christ resides deeply in our hearts. So until we can meet again, we thank you for this wonderful Easter weekend when we can still celebrate the resurrection of our wonderful Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we ask these things in his risen, resurrected name. Amen. Dear Father, we do thank you for the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we pray that you would set our hearts on fire with that, change our lives, and help us to live it out on a day-by-day -day basis. We thank you for our church family. While we've been away these past few weeks, it just helps me to appreciate each one more and more. So we pray your richest blessing upon our church, our community, and our country. We pray that you would heal our land and start with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Easter everyone. Uh, happy Easter uh, from the Mills, Bob. And Lori. We wanted to read Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5 from the New International Version. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. So we miss seeing you all. We miss the fellowship. It'll be good, good to see you again. Yep, looking forward to it. in the power of the Savior. He had the power to conquer the grave. He had the power to endure suffering. The power to resist temptation. The power to redeem us of all our sins. The power to help us overcome trials. It still has the power to work miracles every day. Hello, church family. One of my favorite hymns is He Lives. I think it's appropriate for this Easter season. I'd like to share the third verse. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian. Lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives, he lives within my heart. Happy Resurrection Day.
Matthew 28, 6. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. If you're happy and you don't clap your hands. If you're happy and you don't clap your hands. Hello to our church family from the Probst family. We just wanted to take the time to on these videos to be able to let our church family virtually meet our new Kinley. We are very thankful for all the prayers, the cards, the meals, and the continued prayers. And we just want to wish you all a very happy Easter. Say hello, Kinley. Happy Easter, everyone. I miss seeing all your smiling faces. Take care. <laughs>